Hi guys, it's me Dot. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a special guest. Special guest. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? I'm Shane. Shane is on my channel, guys. Isn't that great? So you guys already know, I'm in college. I'm an orientation leader, and you know I'm pretty good at college. I'm actually a graduating senior. I graduate in December. So um, the countdown has started, baby. We out of here in December. But. Shane's already done. Shane, tell us a little something about you. Well, I am a recent graduate. I got a whole degree out here, BS Psychology. So Shane, what are you gonna do as a graduate? I was like, <laughs> yeah, we, we don't talk about it. So. We don't talk about yeah. after graduation. We just gotta graduate for tomorrow. But um, <laughs> well, I but with that being said, me and Shane are pretty much pros at college, just in general. We're pretty good at this. I would say you're good. Thank you. I think you're good too. Really? Wow. Yeah, we do it. So we're here to share our little keys with you. We got a couple keys. College hacks. Y'all need to know. So let's just go ahead and jump into the video. <laughs> <laughs> that was us jumping in. Okay. Okay. So just so you guys know, as you jump into this, obviously you're gonna watch this all the way through because y'all are real. Hold it down. Please. But <laughs> Once you, after you finish watching this video, guess what? There's a part two. Part two. Part two. <laughs> We're not done. We're not finished. Yeah, we got all the keys. So, after you finish watching this video, make sure you go check out part two on Shady's channel. channel. I have a channel of my own, y'all. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later down the road. Just a little bit, but you just know. Stay that's what part two going to be, so y'all stay tuned. We want to talk about how college is so much fun. So much fun. Like it's so much fun. It's like a, a emotional roller coaster. It's a lot of fun, but it's also very stressful. Stressfully fun. Fun stress. Fun and stress. Kind of like nothing you've ever experienced before in your life. Like Absolutely. it grows you in so many different ways. So let's just jump into what you're gonna get from it and what you should be getting from it and how you get the best out of it. Hmm. <laughs> Such a long list. <laughs> Y'all, the list is too long, okay? So, first things first, you have to, when you come to college, or not when you come to college, when you graduate from high school, really, when you graduate from high school, you think it's so deep. Like, you think about college and you just like, you went through all these acceptances, you went through, you know, applying for colleges and all this stuff and going to either no. your dream school, maybe you ended up somewhere where you didn't want to be. Me. <laughs> but. Or the only place you got in. Me. <laughs> love it, love it. She said acceptance, she made that plural. It ain't acceptance oh, for everybody. Oh, baby. But, Look, <laughs> but no, that's what, that's literally what happens. When you first, when you're first graduating high school, you go through all these things and you're like, uh, college is the biggest decision ever. It's the most, it's the deepest thing ever in my life. How am I going to pick a major? How am I going to do anything? Is this the college I have to go to? Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> it's stressful. Do? I can't. I, can't. I still don't know what I'm going to do when I told y'all I graduated. <laughs> literally. But... We're here to tell you that it's not that deep. Chill out, relax. relax. Have a seat. <laughs> relax, calm down. Cause literally, <laughs> you're going through all of that and you get just about the same experience everywhere. It's gonna be great. Honestly. If you listen to you know what we're saying and like you take advice from other people who've already been in college, then you'll have a pretty good experience. I think so too. I think so. I think so. But you have to make these memories. You have to go to college ready to make memories, ready to just uh, expand your horizon. <laughs> the memories are probably my favorite part of college. No one can take the memories away from you. Yeah. And it's literally, even me saying the word memories is making me like think of. Oh, That's cute. Think of good times. It's swiftly, swiftly fast. <laughs> and then, like, literally, me and Shane have both been here for four years at this point. So it's just like four years. Well, I transferred in. Me too. I transferred in too. We did. So shout out to the transfer students. Shout out to the transfer students. We transferred in. We've been there. We've done that. If y'all want to know about our college experiences and some of the things that, you know, get a little deeper, some of our actual stories, y'all comment down below. Thumbs up this video because we got y'all. We'll tell you. I know. Stop talking about Literally. We like to say so. So. But yeah, the memories are really important. So you have to be open to making those memories and just be ready because it's coming back. It's coming. And once it start coming, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Shane, what? It's just not, it don't stop me. Ain't no stopping, baby. Ain't no stopping. All right. So, with that being said, that brings us to our next tip. Tip number two. two. And that is, <clears throat> just 
step out of your comfort zone. To make these memories, to have a great experience, you can't just uh, you can't just come in thinking one way, like I'm gonna do my homework, that's all I'm gonna do. You know, I don't I don't like to do that over there. I don't know how that's gonna make me feel. So I'ma just do one thing and that's it. And you can't just go to class and come back to your dorm. Go to class, come back to your dorm. Go to class, come back to your dorm. That's not how you're gonna get the experience. You literally have to get out there. You gotta go chase it. It's not gonna chase you. It's not. You gotta go get it. If it makes you uncomfortable, do it. That's how That's you grow. That's a good rule. That's how you grow. That's how you grow. If you sit there, if you if you see like an event on campus, if you see like maybe an organization, if you see you know a person, if you see somebody out there and you see how they moving and they make you uncomfortable, it may make you uncomfortable to say something to them. Go talk to them. Go talk to them. Absolutely. Please, because that's the only way that you make friends in college is to step out of your comfort zone and actually go take those relationships. And that's another thing. Like a lot of people want to make friends. Y'all are all thinking the same thing. Like. Just talk to them. Just go talk to them. It's not that Because I'm pretty sure they need the same and they want to be your friend just as bad. Mm -hmm. And I know everybody want to be my friend back <laughs> Let me tell you right now. <laughs> I'm amazing. I'm great. Yeah, and same for people though. Anyway, I'm not even gonna lie, we're like the same person. <laughs> so. We just found that out, actually. That's true. See, and fun fact, y'all see this great back and forth we have here, this relationship we have? Fun fact. We didn't talk to each other before. <laughs> so I just, I just don't understand why. Cause I don't get it. She's been around, literally, for a long time. We've been in same situations. We've been around the same friend groups and stuff. Circles, everything. And have never talked to each other until like this past semester. Yeah, and we just found out we're the same person, <laughs> literally. It's kind of weird. So that goes exactly back into what we were saying. Step out of your comfort zone. Talk to people that you would normally talk to. Talk to people that you don't really feel like, mm, I don't know if we would have pretty much that much in common. I promise you, you probably will. So you never know. Do that thing. Go talk to that person. Go to that event. Go join that organization. Whatever makes you more comfortable, do that. So the next thing we're going to talk about is staying focused. I know, I know, I know, that's not the kind of stuff, I know, but it is the important stuff, because at the end of the day, yeah, you are here for a reason, I mean, I know that you don't want to go to class and stuff, but you kind of got it, because you're kind of paying for it, so, you to stay at home if you don't go to class, you need to think about it, I mean, don't get me wrong now, Don has missed a couple days of class. Just a few. Now, I actually don't like missing class. I don't either though. Like, but honestly, um But have I? Yes. Do I like it? No. This is my thing. I'll go to class like every class I go, but I might not actually be there. If I know what I'm saying. That's like fair. I'm there but I'm not really there, so it's really I really should just miss it because I'm <laughs> there but I'm not really it's hard for me to focus. But at the same time, like if you go, if you miss a class, then you miss so much information at one time. Like, always go to class. I, if you need to miss class, go ahead and take that day. But if you, if there's no reason for you to miss class, don't miss class. Just go. Just go. One, you're paying for it. Two, it's not that deep. It's only what, like 50 minutes? If it, maybe, maybe an hour. <laughs> But you know, like, you miss so much, and it's really not worth what you're gonna miss. Not and your so professor much. is watching your attendance. Believe That's true. Like, they know faces. So, a little sprinkle, just a little, little key. I know I'm, it may be a little teacher's pet ish, but it works in the end. Is um, on the first day of class, I literally wait until everyone has left the classroom, and I go up to my professor and I introduce myself. Say, hi, I'm Dr. Um, I'll be in your class this semester, and I'm excited for your class. It's a lie, I probably don't care. But <laughs> it really does help when I'm before it does. Before finals week when I'm just like stressed and I'm like, help, I don't know what I'm gonna do about my grade. Like, can you please help me? Are there any extra credit opportunities? Like, what do I do? The teacher's gonna remember that first day of class. And I was like, hi, I'm Yeah, and so I, I'm that, I, yeah, that works. That works because I've done that, but I also ask about like extra credit opportunities and like mm -hmm. help in the beginning. Mm, yeah, like so they know. Oh, he's been asking for help all semester. This is not just a last minute thing. Let me go ahead and give him at seventy, you know, or that ninety. 
from that 89. You know what I'm saying? I always wait to Oh no, you mean like talk to the professor? Yes, oh, yeah, I've never talked to the professor. I thought you meant 89 to a 90. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I talked to them before because they're more likely to like help you out and um professors office hours definitely wanna be there. Absolutely. One of the best ways to stay focused is to make sure that you're professor got you on, on track. Like go in there like, excuse me, um, what do I need to do in your class? Like, I hello, I sit in the back. That's me, and um, I'm I'm stressed. I'm having a little trouble in your class, and I need you to help me out. So, and your professor a lot of times will help you out. And even if you don't, you know, need help with like the work, you can go in there and ask about your grades. You can just go talk to your professor, y'all, and use your professors as your resources because, honey, you go need them. <laughs> Don't need them, and as much as they're gonna get on your nerves, cause they are. Don't let it, don't show it. But it's like here on our campus, we actually have a lot of different resources that are just available that are just here. You may never use in your four years here, but they are here for you to use. It's like we have those those free sessions at the counseling center. The fact that I can check out whole electronics in the library and didn't know till this semester that I could check out a camera for my YouTube. Channel. We have a radio station. Like. And you can like use it. Yeah. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> but that's the thing, like find out what's on your campus. Find out what's on your campus, what for you to do, because college can get a little redundant. You got class, you got you know, maybe a party or two, like and then what do you do? <laughs> so literally so we're gonna talk about that stuff too. Part two. Part two, two baby, yeah. keep keep yeah. watching, baby, keep watching. We talk about the fun stuff, don't worry. Just wait on it. Just wait. <laughs> But yeah, like, use your campus resources because a lot of times people don't really know, like, what's on their campus until it's too late. Like, I'm not hungry, but my stomach definitely just was like, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, what's up? Like, well, I'm not really hungry. Maybe, uh, you know. By the way, just to kind of um, flex a little credentials, we in Shane are orientation leaders, so we know what's up. And we're the cool orientation leaders. You know you got a, the orientation leader, then you got the cool ones. You got the ones that you just like. That was my orientation leader. I seen how she was moving. I seen how he was moving. She cool. That's us. See? Does he any better than this? I don't think so. Yes, love it. So, guess what? You made it to the end of part one. Proud of you. So, if you made it all the way to the end, first of all, you're bomb.com. You already know. You already know what we do on the channel, fearbomb.com. And thumbs up this video again if you like what we're talking about. Yes, that's a nice thumbs Yes, thumbs up this video. Go ahead and dislike this video if you don't like what we're talking about. I don't know why you do Actually, that. do not dislike this video. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's disrespectful. Disrespectful. Um, <laughs> period. Um, while you're here, you guys to know, follow Shaney on Instagram. Which oh, yes. Um, my Instagram is underscore Shane Woods. We probably going to put it. Look at his face. Why would you want to follow that on Instagram? Thank you. Wow. Follow me. I follow back. And I'm fun. He is kind of fun. Not even a lie. He's a lot of fun. But while you're there, you might as well follow Dot too. Yeah, you definitely. At Dot com. Y'all probably, yeah. Definitely. And that's a cool name. Dot com. Dot tree. Dot tree. Dot. Anyway. It's like, um, oh, I know we talked about my YouTube channel earlier, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Plug yourself right now, sir. Subscribe. Yeah, isn't that what the YouTubers say nowadays? Oh, yeah. Like and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I'm new to this, y'all. <laughs> subscribe to my channel, like my videos. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos. <laughs> We're working on it. We'll Alright, you guys, you have made it to the end of part one. Proud of you. And if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs up this video. And part two of this video is on Shane's channel. Shane, what's your channel? My channel is called Shane's World. Um, please stay tuned for part two because we coming with the full video. You thought we was talking about, we th you thought we were talking some gems. You thought we were talking some good stuff, the fun stuff. In the next video, part two, we'll see you there. Yeah, don't meet us there, beat us there. Beat us there. See y'all later, bye.